Hey guys, it's Tom from Allen's BMX and today I'm going to show you possibly the most commonly asked question that we get on how to fit a part and it's fit in seat guts, these pesky little things. Hopefully I can show you a few tricks that will help you out on your installation and your builds because we all know that these are possibly the most annoying things to try and fit and it's always at the end of your build. We don't want to have any bruised knuckles or anything like that and we don't want to lose the will to live so let me show you a few tricks and hopefully we can help you out. So let's have a look and see what we're gonna to need to install seat guts. So what you're gonna need is obviously your seat. So I've got a fresh Cashy Max handler seat here, straight off the production line. We have these in stock at the minute in a few different colors. However, this is going on a build that I'm working on. You've got your classic seat guts, these pesky things, you know, bolts on the side, it's a classic affair. And also obviously the spanner that's gonna fit said seat guts will also help you in tightening at the, at the end of it. Also, sometimes having a vise is useful. Uh, I'm gonna try and show you guys a method that I use that doesn't require a vise all the time. However, it does quite handy. Uh, as you'll see later, I'll show you what I do with the vise if required. So let's get into it and start putting the seat guts on. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is undo the bolts on each side of the seat guts. Undo both of those, place those at the top, take each end plate off the side as well. Going to get the seat, turn it upside down. I'm going to make sure we orientate, orientate the seat guts in the correct direction. We don't want any backward seat guts issues, <laughs> which I'm sure a lot of you guys like, love to point out on our images. However, sometimes we do do it on purpose, which is quite funny. So another good method is taking out the center. This is the non-vice method. So taking out the center, we've just got the two plates on the side there, on each side, lined up. We're gonna turn the seat guts upside down. Now, because the seat's upside down, it's hard to judge, but basically what we want is we want the seat guts to be pointing in a fashion that the seat's back from the seat post. So we want as much length as possible from these short top tubes. So we'll just flip these around the other way so that they're facing the correct way. And then what we're gonna do is put one side in like that Put the other side in so that they're sat like that each side. Uh, might be easy to demonstrate this like this. So they're both sat each side there. Whoops. Then we're going to get the seat guts and we're just going to push it downwards with a little bit of force. So we get up to this stage here. So I don't have the center pin in at the moment, but we do have the seat guts installed. Literally run the center piece through. You may have to fiddle with this a little bit. May have to pull the side of the seat down just to give a bit more clearance, make sure everything's lined up. But it will go through. Push that through the other side, so now I've got the pole through. Pop your end caps on. We're gonna pop a little bolt in that just to get started so that one doesn't fall off. Spin around. Pop the other side on. Pop the bolts on. And we're done. It wasn't so hard that, was it? I mean, not a lot of people try and keep it as one unit as they try and slide it on. However, that is really hard unless you have a vise to kind of crush the center in a bit. So what I'll do is I'll just take this off. So we'll reverse the method. Just take this off really quick. And what I'll do is I'll show you guys what we do with the vise method. Once this comes out, get that center out. Pop this up with a little bit of force and it's off. So if you're doing this with a vise, it's what you're going to end up doing is you want to just crush it in the vise slightly. So we'll just undo the vise here. Just give it a little bit of a crush there. Nothing too mad, otherwise you'll never get the seat post back in. And then what we'll do is we'll build this back up again. So we're going to build it up with the spindle through on one side at the minute. Once that gets through. Spindle first, then end cap. Pop the bolt on a little bit. And then on the other side, we'll pop that on, but we're gonna leave this bolt off for now. Grab your seat. Make sure your pieces are set around the correct way. We wanna just set a little bit of a gap on the offset. So we've got spindle pushed through to the side a bit. We've got a bit of gap. And what we do is we just wanna hook this bottom piece. In fact, I'm gonna take this one off for now. Makes it a bit easier to work with. And we're gonna try and hook this into the bottom of the seat there where the rails start, where it's a bit wider. And we're gonna push and slide it up and on, just like that. 
Other seats may require a bit more force. I know the Keshimax Aero seats are a bit tighter, but this method does work on them. And then we're just going to get the bolt in at that side, thread it on. You've got your seat guts on there. So I've actually put them on backwards that time, but at least with this method, you know, you can easily switch it around the other way. Now you don't need to make, sh make sure you don't crush it too much inside the vise. If you do crush it too much inside of the vise, what will happen is it'll be really, really hard to get the seat post in afterwards and you'll end up just pulling your hair out trying to get that on. So we'll just go through this again. We've got to push slightly to the side, push the seat guts up and through, push it on this other side, get the lock nut on, and your seat guts are on there. Obviously, Put your uh, seat post in, tighten up the sides, get the angle that you like, all good to go. So, easy as that, you think. I mean, it's obviously I've had a lot of practice doing this, but hopefully the techniques that I've shown you there will give you a bit of an idea on how to install these bad boys, which is usually the most annoying part of any build, minus bottom bracket and headset cups, I guess, but we'll do a video on that another time. But yeah, all good, all done, correct way around. And uh, yeah, hopefully that helped you guys out. If you've got any questions or anything like that, please leave a comment below or you can contact us through Facebook, Instagram, all that info will be down below in the description. If you want me to do some another video like this on something a bit different, you know, bottom brackets, headsets, or you know, whatever, leave a comment or give me a shout and I can make a video showing you guys how to install that part because at the end of the day, we want to give you guys all the tips and tricks that we do to make building one of these BMX bikes a more pleasant experience rather than a hair pulling, life ending situation. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, watch one of our other videos. There'll be some videos on the side, but uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.